Welcome back to another part of this build. Uh, I'm going to get on it. I'm going to try to get as much done. Hopefully I'm going to get it all done on this video, except for the painting. It's too cold outside anyway to paint. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on to it. But before I do that, I want to show you guys, uh, for those of you, if you haven't watched it, uh, I'll show you the, the outcome of it. Uh, on my last video, I built a manger. So I want to quickly show you how it looks now after my wife decorated it. And uh, I'll quickly show you that and then I'll get on this build. Cool? Cool. So I told you guys on the video when I was making this manger, my wife was going to decorate it. And then I'd show you on a later video how it came out and this is actually how it came out it came out beautiful okay, I just turned the light on and you guys can probably see it better this way. She even put a chicken and a couple of ducks on the roof. Yeah, my mother-in-law would have loved this. So here's the a brake pedal that I made. Um I wanted to show it before I grind it down and everything. Like obviously I'm gonna clean all this up. So how I made the, the pedal was, this pedal is actually gonna go right here. So I'm gonna have the foot brake for the back. Uh, how I made this, first of all, I didn't have, I didn't know what to use for this support here. So I used, uh, I had an old, old Stanley wrench, three-quarter inch wrench. If you guys can see, it actually says three-quarters forged and that. And then I cut it in the center. I cut the ends off, cut it in the center, and uh, angled it like that. Then I drilled, uh, sorry, I welded um, three 516 nuts on here and drilled the threads out. And the hole through the wrench. Uh, this way, when sorry, this way when it goes into the stud, it doesn't wobble back and forth. This is going to give it support. And then here, all I did was I grabbed a piece of angle iron. If you guys can see, this is actually a piece of angle iron, and I bent it, hammered it to get to that shape and then just welded it onto the wrench. Once I clean all this up and everything, it'll look nice. This is the caliper I'm gonna use for the front uh, brake. It actually works pretty good. This is what I had on my electric bike.
Um, I don't think I have footage of how I did this over here. Uh, on both sides. In order, in order to put the, this plate on. Let me just put the camera down. In order to bolt this plate down, here, for the top, and then I'll do the handlebars. I'm going to actually weld the handlebars to here when I make them. But what I did was I grabbed the 3 8 uh, washer, 3 8 nut. I welded the, the washer or the nut to the washer, and then I just turned it upside down and welded it into the pipe and that's how I made that Okay, so I got most of it done. The gas tank here, um, I'm going to use that for now. But it does look a little bit too small for the bike. So I'm going to try to find a little bit bigger one. But basically everything is done on it except for the handlebars. I got the, the front brake bracket on. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go on to the handlebars right now. I'm actually going to make them out of chain. I think it'll look cool on this bike. So I'm going to get to that now. So here's how the handlebars came out. Um... I obviously cannot install the hand grips power. on here over this chain. So what I'm going to do is I have a, an old pair of handlebars here. I'm going to cut these off and weld them to the ends. In a way that once you put this over and the... Um, the brake levers and that you'll notice that this pipe is actually there cool cool so here's how the bike came out I apologize I don't have enough room down in my basement so I'm probably taking this in wrong angles but I got the handlebars on um, they still need to be reinforced more so I'm gonna reinforce them The engine is not on because I already fitted it, uh, lined it up and everything, so it's fine. I got the rotors, uh, sorry, the calipers off, brake calipers off. But it's all aligned, it's all ready to go. Um, yeah, this is how it came out. Uh, uh, like I said, I don't make plans before I start a build. But, this bike actually came out a little bit longer than I thought it would. It looks okay. It looks actually good. I like it. It's comfortable. 
And, uh, but yeah, it just came out a little bit, maybe, I don't know, six, eight inches a bit too long. But it's staying like that, because I like it. So, what's left now on the bike is to, I have to take it outside, grind it, well, take it apart, take it outside, grind it all down, and paint. And then, assemble it. Um, I can't do that right now. It's minus 15 outside. It's going to be minus 15, minus 16, minus 17, then minus 13 all week. So there's nothing going to be done on this bike for a little while until it warms up a bit. Uh, the only thing that I'm not too keen on that I don't like actually it, on this bike is the gas tank. It's too tiny for this bike. It just doesn't look right. But... They sell nice gas tanks online for over a hundred bucks plus shipping. I can't afford that right now. So I'm going to stick with this one until I can find maybe a used one on Kijiji or uh, Craigslist. But yeah, like I already had, a, I already aligned the engine up. I already aligned the brakes up. I already aligned everything up. It just needs the grinding and, um, and the painting and assembling. And then go for a ride. But she is comfortable. It's just this stupid gas tank I don't like. The rest of the bike came out really nice, I think. To me, anyway. Anyway, I don't know when I'm going to have that done. Unless it gets warm outside, it's not going to be for a while. So, in the meantime, I'm going to start my other project down here. And do as much as I can on it. Which is going to be a very interesting project. Um, it's going to be a mini bike. But the way it's going to be made. The material it's going to be made out of. Uh, I searched on YouTube. I searched on uh, on the internet. Just to make sure I'm not copying anybody. And I can't find anything like it. Like what I want to build. So I'm going to start on that. I think it will be an awesome, awesome build. And I think you guys are all going to like it. So... Until the next video of this, yeah, I know I still have to show the machine gun Nevis, the paintball gun shooting and that, but like I say, it's so cold out there, I can't really do anything. So yeah, I don't know when I'm, I'll have the next video out on this, this build, uh, but I am going to start my other project, and uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a cool, awesome project. Cheers, guys.